Welcome, my lovely Aquarius. Happy belated birthday to all of you. I hope you all did something amazing to celebrate this solar return, and I hope it brings you nothing but continued blessings. Alrighty, let's go ahead and dive in here and see what we got going on for our lovely Aquarius. What would you like to talk about with Aquarius today, spirit? Ooh. We have card number seven, Libra Balance. And then card number 18, Sun Source. Well, that's quite gorgeous. We'll leave these right here. What else do we have for our lovely Aquarius? This is way too many, Spirit. Sorry, these Maruka X decks are a little slippery sometimes. What do we have for our lovely Aquarius, please and thank you. Ooh. We have <clears throat> long life, blessed with a good long life, a lot a long life journey of learning, being happy and healthy at old age beautiful oh i love that so much we also have sorry the glare i need to get some like shades for this okay and then we have soul purpose soul birthing process discovering your soul purpose unfolding your unique abilities can we fit one more in the middle, you guys? I think we should, huh? Let's go this far. I need to rearrange my desk space because I haven't been super happy with the layout for a while, but I just been so freaking busy. Like, it's insane. Okay, let's get one more. Ooh, ooh. Beautiful path of the heart. It says, a path dedicated to romantic love. Main life lessons will be heart-based on earth to obtain emotional wisdom. Oh my gosh. Okay, Aquarius. That's so beautiful that centering your reading because, you know, they say that Aquarius are emotionally detached, right? And I feel like there's something with you and this soul purpose that is involving relationships, love, um, companionships. I mean, the seventh house is all about relationships, right? And it's also like, I mean, the path of the heart, like, this is a path dedicated to romantic love. I don't think that's necessarily only it for some of you. Maybe some of you are looking for love at this time. Doesn't have to be, but... I feel like you are here to really understand the energy of love here. And I feel like a lot of you are getting that. And I feel like a lot of you are in this beautiful, gorgeous energy here where you're thriving. And it's like you're just really discovering so much about yourself and what you love and what you want to do with your life and you know you could be any age here Aquarius like but I feel like you're gonna be living this long healthy beautiful life you know like I love it so much okay so let's go ahead and dive in here we're gonna do a half Celtic cross can we get Aquarius's current energy at this time we have the seven of pentacles goals potential success beautiful a lot of you could be working on something right now um, this could be something to do with some sort of a skill talent or ability that you have but it's like you're being recognized for this right now here and i feel like your life just feels so zen this energy just feels outstanding i just saw four five six on the clock too 
Now, what is crossing Aquarius at this time? The high priest is. Whew. Secrets, dreams, wisdom, inner voice, spirit world. Interesting. Some of you... I mean, we're going to get more information here, but some of you could be struggling to trust your, your inner voice, your inner guidance here. Some of you are really um, digging deep into the subconscious mind is what I'm getting as well. It feels like you're doing some heavy, deep work here. What is below Aquarius? We will honor the two cards because they came out as a pair. So we have the three of pentacles in death. It says enterprise, success, talent, teaching, transformation, new beginnings, change, and ending. Some of you... Are growing something right now it feels like something something that you put time energy and effort into is really starting to transform and expand here like in a very big way it feels like you put an end to like Feels like for some of you, you put an end to like a certain way that you were like building something and you are now like putting your time into something else for some of you or I just feel like mostly like you're transforming the way that you do something or the way that you built something. What is some past energy? Past energy for Aquarius, please and thank you. Past energy for Aquarius, please and thank you. Ooh, too many spirit. Three of cups. Family, friends, joy, abundance. That's gorgeous. Feels like in the past, I feel like your family and friends have been a huge source of support for you. A huge source of happiness beautiful energy what is above Aquarius what is crowning Aquarius ooh the hierophant ritual ceremony tradition structure knowledge wisdom teacher that is so beautiful a lot of you are being like recognized as some sort of like a master in your craft some of you are mastering your craft it feels like you're being seen as like a guru in this area or subject here i feel like you are also committing to something or some path in your life here What does the future hold for our lovely Aquarius, the Nine of Wands? We have strength, support, boundaries. Determination is also what I'm hearing. the bottom of the deck we have the five of swords here 
Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords. What the heck? Some of you could be stressing about something right now or going through some sort of like um, tumultuous situation. We have the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Feels like some of you are like healing from some sort of um some sort of a painful ending in the past. I feel like a lot of you might be clearing out some of that energy still. Now let's go ahead and clarify these. What is the seven of pentacles? Seven of Pentacles for Aquarius, current energy. Yeah, a lot of you are putting in the blood, sweat, and tears. Wow, I'm going to honor this Ace of Pentacles. A lot of you have been juggling a lot, okay? Like, when I say busy, you have been farking busy, okay? Like, this is like the ultimate, like, balancing act. And like we have the scales here. I feel like you are working on something right now and you are putting so much energy and effort into it. You might be balancing two different jobs, but whatever this is, I mean, I feel like it's like a job and a passion project. Whatever this is, it is, it's starting to reap the, re the rewards of your efforts, okay? Um, but you have been masterfully juggling whatever this act is for you personally. What is this high priestess as the challenge? Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. Justice again. We have the chariot, the hierophant, and the four of pentacles with justice. Again, with this Hierophant here, double confirmation. I feel like I'm hearing the words independent contractor. I feel like some of you might not be getting It just feels like you like with the Justice card and the Four of Pentacles here, it feels like you're not receiving the financial income that you are worth here and it feels like it feels like you're wanting to be your own entity here it feels like you want to move forward in a direction that is best for you What is this Three of Cups for Aquarius in the past? Oh my gosh, Three of Cups on the Three of Cups. Stop. What is this Three of Cups for past energy? The Tower. Some of you... The Nine of Wands underneath here. Some of you have done a lot for your friends here, and I feel like, I feel like you are at a, a point where you're reevaluating certain friendships and certain connections here and whether they're actually good for you or not. I feel like some of them, for the most part, really are, 
but I feel like the ones that haven't been, you have released here. And I feel like it was hard to do so, you know? And it feels like um, these people came back with like, you know, an apology or trying to heal things, but it feels like you don't have time for that, okay? Like, yeah, you don't have time for that because you're too busy working on mastering your craft here. You don't have time to like worry about you know, unstable friendships. What is this Hierophant? We have the Four of Wands. What is this Hierophant that is crowning Aquarius? The Knight of Cups. Let's get one more. The Four of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Some of you could be um, teaching something from home, working on something from home. <clears throat> or for some of you, this could have something to do with like somebody wanting to propose to you or somebody wanting to express their love to you here. This is quite interesting. But nonetheless, I feel like you, like with the Hierophant as well as these cards, it feels like, it feels like you're taking your commitment one step further in regards to whatever this is. Oh, wow, we have Path of the Heart. Yeah, for some of you, this could very well be love coming in as well. But for a lot of you, too, I feel like there's something that has to do with your soul purpose or soul mission here. Ooh, we forgot to clarify this. What is below Aquarius? Nine of Wands. Right away, I heard um, the hardest part is over. The hardest part is over. I feel like what's below you is that you have gone through these hurdles here and you have put in the blood, sweat, and tears. The Page of Pentacles is the bringer of good news, right? So, I mean, something with this opportunity here is flourishing for you. What is this Nine of Wands? Judgment. King of Wands and the High Priestess again. Ooh, this one wanted to come out too. The Queen of Wands, I should have showed you because I she was poking out earlier too. Now, <clears throat> for some of you, you are going to be meeting your divine counterpart after a time of um, something tumultuous in your life. Others of you
are really learning to balance your divine inner masculine and feminine here. And it's like you're transforming yourself and shifting your energy into something that will be completely changed forever, like in the best ways though. Others of you might find out some information here that's going to be um, changing the direction of your life. Like rebirthing your life. Shedding old layers. Like the final last bit of old energy that is no longer um, a part of your field and that can't come forward with you into this next phase of your life. Look at, we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck here. Some of you are really bossing up at this time. Now, let's go ahead and um, get some advice for you. This is like a tarot oracle deck. Can we get some advice for our lovely Aquarius, please and thank you? The Emperor, again, being the authority of your own life comes with a lot of responsibility. Yes, it sure does. You got the Emperor twice. Some of you are really um, taking control of your life here. I feel like a lot of you are becoming your own boss. I feel like a lot of you have really cut out a lot of old energies here. Oh my gosh, the Empress card three. There is beauty to be found in every experience. Again, with this inner divine masculine and feminine. For some of you, you're really balancing the two energies here. And it's really um, lighting up your solar plexus here and bringing you a lot of balance as well. And then others of you... You could be meeting your divine counterpart. And for some of you, it's actually both that's happening. Can we get one more card for advice? Seven of Wands. Witches should hold other witches accountable. With the Queen of Cups underneath again. Honoring your emotions is one of the highest forms of self-care. I think for the most part, your advice here is to honor your emotions and what you want and what you feel is right and best for your life and your situation here. Spirit is really wanting you to balance your inner divine masculine and feminine energies here. And like I said, for some of you, you do have a divine counterpart coming in as well. But I feel like a lot of you are really on this higher ground. In the Seven of Wands, they're kind of depicting the Seven of Wands in like a, I would say, kind of a negative light here. But, um... Don't let people, don't let, I'm getting the message, don't let people make you feel bad for the path that you're on here. Because I feel like there is some envious and jealousy maybe around you here. Because something that you're doing is like mega. Alright, now we're going to close out with a couple of success oracle cards. What do we have for Aquarius? We have Ellen DeGeneres. Find where personal meets personable. Don't get with the times if they don't get you. Kill kindness. Resuscitate with humor. Kill with kindness. Resuscitate with humor. What else do we have? Ayn Rand. Self-interest has mass appeal. Find people, find like-minded individualists. Those who live in glass houses 
will not be told what they can and cannot throw. Get one more to close this out. Two more or three more? All right. J.K. Rowling, a stroke of genius requires a slog of follow-up. There's no magic spell for doing the work. If you make a name for yourself, why stop at one? Interesting. Yeah, there's. I felt that there. I feel like there's some envy around you for something that you're doing. We have Janet Yellen. If it's going to crash, it needs government cash. When it rains, make it rain. You can teach a man to fish, but you also need to stimulate a stimulate stimulate a fishing industry. I don't know who this is, but I think she works for the government. Hmm. We have Sergi Brin. Provide answers to all life's questions. Create a new verb. Let me Google that and get back to you. I imagine he's something to do with Google. Hmm. Alrighty, my lovely Aquarius. Hopefully you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye, Aquarius.